Hey everyone, I'm Cal from Mystical Hug, and this is your 35 minute restorative class. For this practice, I'll be using two blocks and a bolster. If you don't have either of those, no worries. Just grab a throw blanket and roll it up, and maybe a couple of pillows or whatever you've got on hand. Our backing track tonight is Jesse Gallagher, who is from the Apollo Sunshine. So those of you from Boston will hopefully appreciate that. Um, Jesse has made this music available for free for this type of purpose, so I will make sure to include the link down in the description. All right, thank you so much for joining tonight and enjoy the practice. Let's start with a restorative chest and heart opener. Bring your bolster or your rolled towel to the base of your spine and gently lean back. Soles of the feet come together to touch and knees fall open wide. You can use a block under your knees here if the stretch is a little bit too deep. Stretch your arms out wide, palms to the sky. Take a deep breath in and a nice full exhale. Take a moment to relax your jaw, imagining your jaw is a switch. As it relaxes, your entire body relaxes as well, turning off any tension, any stress in the body. Feel your chest beginning to gently open, and at the same time, your heart beginning to open as well. Any tension that's built up around your heart space is beginning to gently soften. Your hips gently opening and softening. and your whole body just melting down into the surface beneath you. Continue to breathe deeply, taking nice full exhales. We'll be here for another couple of minutes. If your mind starts to wander, just bring it back. Focusing on your breath or the feeling of your body. Completely let go, let your arms just be heavy, moving now to an even deeper layer of relaxation as your hips chest. Continue to relax and release. Stretch even deeper. Just one more minute here, continuing to soften, continuing to let go. 
Letting go of the past, letting go of the future, and allowing yourself to just be here in this moment, trusting that you are safe and supported. And by taking this time, you are allowing your body to heal, recover. You're allowing yourself to be the best version that you can be. Moving as mindfully as you can, bring your knees together, maybe using your hands on the outside of your legs for support. Move your blocks aside, gently roll off of your bolster, and use your hands to press yourself up to seated. Coming to all fours for a few cat-cow breaths in between. Inhaling to drop your belly, lift your gaze, and exhaling to round and relax your head. Slide your bolster to the front of your mat will come to a supported pigeon. Left knee slides forward. Hips are as square as they can be. Upper body coming to rest on your bolster. Head can face in either direction. Since this is restorative, it doesn't have to be your deepest possible pigeon pose. Just come to a point where you feel a stretch. And if the bolster isn't providing enough support, you can use a block or a pillow under your forehead. Whatever version you find, beginning now to relax into your pigeon pose and completely let go. Maybe taking some breaths into your back side, feeling your upper, middle, and lower back filling with air. Breath reaching the very bottom of your lungs, the back of your lungs. And with each exhale, letting go a little bit further. We'll be here for just another couple of minutes, noticing where your mind goes, and without any judgment, just bringing it back to the present moment. Continuing to relax even deeper into the pose. Notice if there's anywhere you're holding or gripping and seeing if you can give your body permission to just let go.
When you're ready, moving mindfully to press yourself up and out of pigeon, slide your leg back. And you can take a couple cat-cow breaths in between, or if you'd like, press all the way back for a downward dog. Pedal out your feet and take a few breaths here. When you're ready, coming back to all fours if you're in downward dog and sliding your opposite leg forward for pigeon on the other side. Any version that feels good for you and head can be in either direction, maybe trying the opposite direction from our first side. Settling in and relaxing. Maybe coming back to that breath, noticing air reaching the bottom of your lungs, filling up your whole backside body. And on your exhales, letting go even further. We store a lot of emotion and tension in our hips. So pigeon pose is a great way to release, to let go. It's also a great pose if you've been sitting at a desk. And also especially great for runners or anyone doing any kind of exercise where you're working the glutes. Noticing where the mind is and just bringing it back, no judgment. We'll be here for another minute seeing if you can release even further. When you're ready, gently press yourself back up. Come to all fours or downward dog. Take a little reset in between. When you're ready, come back to all fours and set up for child's pose. child's pose, big toes come together to touch, knees spread out nice and wide, sit back on your heels, and slide your bolster or towel underneath your upper body for extra support. You might also bring a block or another pillow to your forehead. Once you've settled in, begin to notice your breath allowing it to fill the back of your lungs, feeling your back gently expand and gently soften. Okay, 
Okay, breathing just like this. Nice deep inhales and slow exhales. Maybe imagining any tension or stress exiting the body through your forehead, rooting down into the earth where it will simply dissolve. Continuing to let go and release a little bit further. here for another two minutes, just noticing where your mind is going and bringing it back to the present moment anytime you find that it's gone astray. Keep breathing deeply, keep bringing your mind back to the present moment, and keep relaxing even further. Just a few more deep breaths here. When you're ready, you can press yourself back up to kneeling and we'll transition next to Sphinx pose or crocodile. So mindfully coming all the way forward onto your belly Elbows come beneath your shoulders, palms facing the ground, lifting your heart up and through. Relax your shoulders away from your ears, or rather lifting through your neck, chin tucked for a nice long neck. An alternate option is crocodile just crossing one hand over the other and relaxing your forehead down on top. Whichever you choose will be here for just a short time, one minute or two at the most, and you can always switch to crocodile if sphinx becomes too much. In this gentle back bend, Just continuing to breathe. Continuing to find where you can soften. 
Maybe softening around your eyes, softening your jaw. If you're in Sphinx, you may choose to lower down to Crocodile for the last moment. When you're ready, moving as mindfully as you can, maybe thinking about your journey before you even begin moving. We'll transition all the way onto our backs here. Head can be at either side of the mat. Make sure to take with you your blocks or your bolster. We'll come next to a supine twist. So placing your blocks or your bolster over to the left side, hug your knees into your chest. Take a couple breaths here. And then drop your feet down to the mat, knees come to the left side. Since this is restorative, your knees don't need to come all the way to the floor. Use your bolster or your blocks as a prop. So this stretch can be maintained for a couple of minutes. Arms can come out wide like a T or to goalpost or goddess arms, palms facing up or down, your preference. This gentle twist, breathing into the place that feels the tightest or the most restricted, and seeing if you can soften and bring some gentleness to that place. Allowing your breath to aid in deepening your relaxation here. the next few inhales and exhales, maybe imagine as you're in this twist, wringing out anything that doesn't serve you today. this last moment, seeing if you can relax even further, let all of your weight just soften down to the floor or the props beneath you.
take your sweet time coming back to center and then finding that same pose or whatever variation you'd like on the other side. Moving mindfully, remembering that the space in between the poses is part of the practice as well. Settling in and maybe coming back to that breath, feeling the place that feels most restricted, softening and becoming more relaxed with each inhale and each exhale. Once again, imagining that in this twist, you're wringing out anything that doesn't serve you today. You don't have to name it, you don't even have to know what it is, but if you can feel it, let it go. Continue to relax even further for this last moment. Letting the total weight of your body just soften down into the ground beneath you and the props beneath you. When you're ready, gently bring your knees back to center, maybe giving them a little hug in the middle, and take any final movements that feel good to you before settling into your final resting pose, Savasana. For Savasana, make yourself as comfortable as you can. If you're feeling any low back pain today, you may elevate your knees by placing a bolster underneath. A great pose, especially if you have any anxiety today, is trying legs up the wall. Whatever you choose, you may want to grab a blanket, a sweater, some socks, anything that helps you stay warm and comfortable. Once you've found your pose, settling in right away, allowing your entire body to relax and melt down into the surface beneath you. Maybe taking a moment to check back in with your breath. Welcoming those deep inhales allowing the breath to reach the bottom of your lungs as your belly gently rises and falls. Maybe slowing down the exhales even more. Allowing your head to just be heavy, relaxing all the muscles in the scalp and the face, 
bringing your attention to your forehead, smoothing over any worry lines. Relax your right eye and your left eye. Soften through your cheeks. Relax your jaw. Even your tongue and your gums relaxing. Relax your neck and your throat and allow that relaxation to continue down into your collarbones, all the muscles in your chest, your shoulders, And like a wave, that relaxation travels all the way down your arms to the tips of your fingers. Maybe even imagining a glowing white healing light in your palms, sending nourishment, healing, and calm throughout your whole body. Relax your whole back, upper, middle, and lower. And relax your belly, allowing breath to come in and out without any effort. Letting go of control of the breath knowing that air will flow in and out whether you try or not. Relaxing through your hips and your pelvic bowl, the tops of the legs relaxing, the backs of the legs relax. Relaxing the knees, the shins, calves, tops of the feet, soles of the feet, and all ten toes just relaxing. Take a scan of the body from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, just noticing any place that still needs to soften and release, and just sending some breath, some love to that place, accepting where you are today, but also seeing on the exhale if there is any room for softening. Moving now to an even deeper layer of relaxation as you feel your body coming into harmony, coming into balance. You feel yourself completely letting go. Your mind is still and light. As thoughts come across, simply let them float away, knowing that if they're important, they'll come back to you later. With each inhale, welcoming a sense of peacefulness. And with each exhale, releasing anything at all that doesn't serve you in this moment.
and eventually you inhale peacefulness and exhale peacefulness Remind yourself that you are perfect exactly how you are in this moment. May you have a peaceful, happy, and healthy rest of your day or night rest of your week and rest of your life. Stay here as long as you'd like. Thank you so much for practicing with me tonight. Namaste.